I'm versing my friend Greg on his own custom course on Golf with Friends. It's that crazy editor, but he managed to make a decent one. Let's see who wins. Winner gets 10 grand. If you guys are ready, hit that like button. I expect a win from you on this because you made this, Greg. Oh, I messed up. I hit it and I'm back at the start. <laughs> <laughs> He's screwing up already. Oh, get in there. Oh. I think that was the best I ever did on your first hole. Oh, damn it. This is obviously during COVID. So you could tell Greg had some time on his hands to to even attempt this godforsaken editor. But I like his course. It took me a while. And you even added the walls? Like, that's, I don't know. I wish I could figure that out. Slow down. Ooh, nice position. Oh, you freaking idiot. What a f Oh. <laughs> what happened? That was weird. Did it, it hit your ball? Oh, that's lame. <laughs> like you were going in, I was going to gain a stroke back. <laughs> I ball blocked him. So this one you got to get. There's a little secret here. Right down this little shoot ski. This one I always have trouble on for some reason. There you go. So yeah, just never make it in one. Oh, I gotta bank this too. Oh, get in there. Oh, you doofus. Double bogey. What's the good one? Oh, where the just follow the gingerbread man basically in this yeah. one. <laughs> I can never make this one either. Oh, gee, I didn't even make it over the damn thing. Oh, I actually got it on top. I don't think I've ever like landed in between two. Though. Oh, wow. There's another arcade game. <laughs> Land the middle. Win the jackpot. On, or call it stop on top. Ah, dude, perp. I'm telling you, me and Greg, man, we're, we're missing out on life. I'll tell you that stop much. On top. We, we could be making arcade games. Dave and Buster's will be buying them. Stop on so. top. We'll have a graphic designer. I don't know. Ooh, I actually made it. Oh, uh, this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate this. I can never get it in that thing. You have to, like, hit it real light. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nice. Got a bogster. Oh, I know. See? There you go. <laughs> it, like, registered twice. So me and Daryl were installing, installing this bill acceptor. Dude, it was a whole day ordeal. The plate that they had on there was for a card reader on the other side. They had the coin mech already installed, but you know how there's, like, a plate? And it like goes into the plate, so it mounts in there. Yeah. They sent him one with a car. I'm like, what? These holes do not line up. I, either I'm stupid or something's wrong here. But my question was, is why would they send him a card reader plate when they already installed a coin mech on the thing? Like, you're not going to have cards and coins. You know what I mean? Like, it's either going to be one or the other. <laughs> yeah. And then the bill acceptor didn't come. Conf I mean, they said it came configured, but... We hooked everything up. There wasn't certain stuff plugged in. Trying everything still wasn't like the lights wouldn't blink on the bill acceptor. It was going like disconnect. It was like not disabled by host. It said so. I I'm looking at the manual, man. This is like I don't know, eight o'clock at night. Finally, it was a, some dip switch saying that you had to have some kind of pulse on at all times or some kind of thing. Oh, bounce, bounce in the. Uh, I got the good one finally on this. So it was one dip switch on the bill acceptor that made it work finally. Uh, I would have felt bad if I, you know, couldn't get that working. That's good. You can. Yeah, Whew. certain states, New Jersey, you have to have stuff disabled, like so if the game's broken or uh, or pop, like when a pop machine runs out of all the flavors of pop, it actually disables the bill. Uh, huh. Or like at my high school, 
there was a key on the pop machine, so it only <laughs> got turned on during lunchtime. Uh Oh. So you know, you turn the key and then it disables the vending of the pop. Oh, that's neat. I did a, a vlog though, so that'd be interesting. But he had the uh, he three D printed a plate, which I figured he would do. I'm like Daryl, you can probably just three D print, you know, because like they're like, yeah, we don't have that plate in stock. I'm like, hmm, I see Daryl 3D printing this. So he was like, zip, zip, measurement. It actually looks really good with the black PLA, and he made it 50% infill, and it looks really good. I'll have to send you a picture. I got the cable installed on the Kitty Tech. The whole bottom part, I still have to neaten it up. Uh, does it work? It works, but nice. I Nice. So that was it. Son of a gun. Do you add a better cable to it? Yeah. Nice. They probably used the that wire I got from freaking Best Buy for my adapter. Dude, this is the thinnest. I don't even know they could make a wire this thin. It was like a noodle wire. <laughs> noodle arms. Freaking mushrooms. What am I doing? Ooh, this is trouble. <laughs> Yay. Best Buy's like, we're going to go on Alibaba and get the cheapest, thinnest wire possible. And we're going to slap our good old Insignia logo over it and sell it for 13 freaking dollars. <laughs> and how much it was. Yeah. It was a USB. So it was a USB C to three and a half millimeter, like, or an aux thing. But I mean, it's just. With the weather change and how I'm not, I'm just going to leave it in the car. It's it's only a matter of time before it's, you know, all crackly. So this one's got a go, secret. You want to go for the secret or go for the target? So. I don't understand why you would even go for the target. Shabang, oh, yeah. hole in one. <clears throat> That's if you don't free cam properly. You miss it. Uh-oh, Matt needs some strokeage. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds weird. Oh, I hit it too hard. No, we're good. I like this one. It's fun to hit it up those ramp thingies. I'm going to try saving a stroke. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh close. Eh. That was a good effort. You get an E for effort. You got a P to continue. <laughs> hit P to continue. Oh, this is my arch nemesis. <laughs> Greg hates this one, even though he made it. Bah, messed up. Now, this one I'm actually decent on for some reason. This might be my ketchup right here. My ketchup and mustard. Parski. Let's see if Greg's having trouble. I'm <laughs> having trouble. No, nah, I think you're good. Oh, you hit it too hard. <laughs> it still works. Long putt. See if he makes it. Nice. Ha! Oh, look how close. I don't like this one because it doesn't make it up all the way. Yeah. Here we go. Even when you hit it down, like it kind of does, I guess, on the down, the down spiral. Yeah, it does. You gotta whale that sucker. Yeah, this is. It's a neat course. Oh, man, two behind. Look at us. Two more holes left, and I hate hole 18. Hate it. Oh, look at this. Pressure's on. You might have saved a stroke on this one. Yeah. I didn't try for the bankage. Oh, 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 look at this. We're neck and neck, folks. Ha. Oh. You may win by one again. Now, this one, though, I have trouble on. You always say it's like, what? Uh, one and a half. Yeah, you did it, uh, me. One and a half. Oh, dang it. <sighs> oh. Look, look at this. I'm never going to make it in there now. I did the same thing. <laughs> it's, I think it's two. It's not one and a half. Uh, but where is it now? Where's our strike point now? Uh, oh, it's still two and a half. Nice. 
Oh, you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. That is horse crap. <laughs> well, let's see. That I pulled a Greg. We'll call that arcade game Tip Top the Mountain. Greg wins by one. What a game. Ten grand. When, when am I getting this check for all these ten grand? <laughs> It'll arrive in six to eight weeks with your live camel.